2018 Ford Explorer Limited. Hi, I'm Tim Bartz, Internet Sales Manager at Law MacArthur Ford in Salina, Kansas. In this video, we're going to go over all the standard tools, well optional equipment that's available on that limited trim of the 2018 Ford Explorer. Now, this is going to be a very thorough video. We're going to talk about the standard equipment first, going around the outside and the inside. Talk about that 301A equipment group different optional packages as well as standalone options. So uh, we'll have the timestamps down below as well as the prices for all those different packages and equipment groups uh, down in the description, so check that out. And as you're watching this video, do keep in mind, uh, check out the end of the video, I'll talk about our free shipping policy here at Long MacArthur Ford. So uh, I think you're gonna really like this video, so let's go ahead and get started. Let's first talk about safety. Uh, this is one of the safest vehicles on the road and it's going to have a, a lot of safety precautions for you. Now one of the ones that's for the driver and front passenger is a personal safety system that's going to help protect you from side, front side collisions uh, and uh, it has a series of uh, dual stage airbags. So it's going to deploy a different size airbag depends on how close you are to the steering wheel. So that way it doesn't deploy a really big one if you're really close and, and still protects you but not harm you is the goal there. Also, you're going to have side impact airbags on those seats uh, that's going to protect you from those side uh, collisions there. And then you're going to have your seatbelt pretensioners uh, as well to help you uh, keep you safe, the driver and front passenger. Also, to protect everyone on those rollover situations, you're going to have the side canopy airbags that's going to deploy down across those uh, windows to protect them on any kind of rollover uh, situation. But this does have advanced track with roll stability control, so hopefully it doesn't help uh, happen for you. It does have the advanced track has helped to keep you on your intended path and control any kind of rollover situation by using a series of braking on the different four wheels uh, in a very quick millisecond uh, fashion there when you're on those slick driving roads, uh, rainy ra roads, or even sometimes slick roads So uh, from ice and such. So I think you'll really appreciate that. Also, SOS post-crash alert system that's going to honk the horns and flash the lights if you happen to be off the road so other drivers can see that you need help. Also, 911 assist uh, that where you use the Microsoft Sync technology connects you to 911 if you have that situation where you can't get to your phone, uh, it's going to help call 911 for you. So I think you'll really appreciate all the different safety features on all your Explorers, especially the Limited here. And now this does have uh, two different engines that are available. The standard engine on the Limited is your 2.3 liter EcoBoost engine. That's a four cylinder engine. It's going to have 280 horsepower and it's going to have 310 foot-pound of torque. So lots of power behind that one and that is the standard engine, not the optional engine uh, like it is in the XLT and the base. Uh, also for fuel economy, if you have that front-wheel drive, you're going to get, uh, I believe it's uh, 19 uh, on the, in the city, 27 on the highway, and for your four-wheel drive, it's going to be uh, 18 in the city, 25 on the highway. So uh, pretty good fuel economy with that engine. Now the optional engine is the 3.5 V6, which is the standard engine on the base and the XLT. That one's going to deliver 290 horsepower, 255 uh, foot-pound of torque. So uh, some pretty good power out of that one as well. And for fuel economy on the front wheel drive on the 3.5, uh, you're going to get uh, 17 in the city, you're going to get 24 on the highway, and then for that four wheel drive, you're going to get 16 in the city and 22 on the highway. So uh, you can tell that EcoBoost is going to get you a little bit better fuel economy. So. And I'm not sure why uh, that the base in the XLT is it's just backwards of that. Uh, some people have corrected me in some of the in like 2017 that the uh, 2.3 was optional engine, but the 2.3 is the standard engine, and the optional is that 3.5 liter. So uh, just keep that in mind when you're uh, getting your vehicle, uh, and uh, you'll be okay there. So now let's talk about the front of it here. The front does look similar to the XLT with a little different look. The grill up here is going to be a chrome three-bar grill. But now the, the mesh insert is going to be a silver painted insert, so a little bit different color there, and it just gives it a nice luxury look there. Also body colored uh, up here too, you're going to have your front sensing system that you get from that 202A package for the XLT, so as you're pulling forward, it's going to alert you as you get too close uh, to different items. Also the front camera, the 180 degree camera there in the front with the washer with the split view on the screen is going to be standard on your limited. So you're going to be able to see in front of you as you're as going forward as well. And then you'll notice a nice chrome accent here right below the bumper and then the silver painted uh, front skid plate up there that you got from the XLT. So real good look to it. You are going to get your automatic headlights here and they're going to come on automatically as it gets dark. They're also going to be wiper activated. You're going to get your LED fog lights also uh, that's uh, standard equipment on your uh, limited and then don't forget the nice LED signature lighting that goes around those 
configure those during the daytime as well. So just a real sharp look when you're driving down the road with those uh, daytime running lights on. Uh, those, those, those driving lamps, as they call them, just looks really sharp on the vehicle. Now the standard wheel on the Limiteds is going to be a 20-inch nickel luster painted aluminum wheel. So real sharp looking wheel, I like the 20-inch size as your standard wheel. Uh, the wheel on this particular one is an optional wheel we're going to talk about in just a little bit. Now the mirror does have a body color mirror cap, turn signal indicator on the outside, and it does have your security approach lamp that's going to light the ground beside the vehicle on each side. Also power heated glass, and it has your uh, integrated blind spot mirror, and that's an angled mirror so you can see the vehicles in your blind spot a little bit better. Also has auto dimming driver side view mirror. And, uh, reason that comes in real handy is when those cars want to pass you with those bright lights, it's going to automatically dim that, that mirror there for you. So it comes in real handy. Also this does have your intelligent access. That allows you to be able to leave the key fob in your pocket, purse, whatever it might be. Just walk up to the vehicle, it's going to automatically unlock the vehicle. Allow you to get inside, and then uh, what's uh, really nice about that also has push button starts. So you don't have, ever, they don't have to get the keys out to get in the vehicle as well as to start the vehicle. So I think you really appreciate that. And you'll notice when you put your hands in the door handle, that's when the LED, the security approach lamp, lights up. It'll also light up when you unlock the vehicle uh, as you approach it with your key fob. So that is another way to maybe use it before you get there. So I think you really like that. It does have keypad here on the pillar, and that just allows you to be able to access or unlock the vehicle using the keypad. Maybe if you want to leave the keys inside, you want to lock it up that way or maybe you don't have the keys on you but you need to grab something out of it you can use your special code to get into the vehicle I know sometimes my kids want to get to the vehicle before I do and they use the keypad or that that code to get in the vehicle and unlock it so they can get inside when maybe it's a little bit colder out so they can really appreciate that now one of the nice features is when you the intelligent access is when you lock the vehicle by pressing the, the little pad over here on either of the front doors it's going to lock the vehicle up and it's going to auto fold those mirrors. This does have power fold mirrors with the auto fold feature, so it's going to automatically fold those up. So when you get to those uh, wherever you're going in the, those parking lots, you can lock it up. It's going to automatically fold the mirrors in, so hopefully you won't get those banged up in those uh, different parking lots from those doors and such. So I think you'll really appreciate that. And then uh, when you uh, go ahead and get in it, it's going to auto fold the mirror back out into place, so that, that comes in real handy. So I think you'll appreciate that. Also, you're going to see the silver or the chrome uh, roof rack side rails up here. Also, uh, just I love the look of those. Uh, I think it just uh, gives it a nice uh, touch there on the, uh, the roof of the vehicle. And you're going to get your chrome door handles, the chrome uh, rocker molding over here, just like you had in the XLT. And then you're going to get the privacy glass. That's that dark tinted glass here in these back windows and the back glass. Keeps it cooler for everybody inside the vehicle in that second, third row. And for the limited, you do get the upgraded heavy duty brake calipers for these rear brakes. So that's going to make it stop even faster. So I think you'll appreciate that. Uh, I think on the XLT, you get the, the larger, the heavy duty front brake calipers that help you, uh, especially those front wheel drives. But now in the limited, you're going to get one on the rear as well. Now, as we move to the back, you're going to see the body colored rear spoiler up here. Also rear defrost with rear wiper. So really nice being able to keep that, that glass clear of any kind of clutter. and. Uh, ice and such. Also you're going to see on the back lift gate you're going to see the chrome accent that goes across the lift gate. Also rear view camera with the washer uh, right there so you're going to be able to see as you're backing up and it has reverse sensing so you're also going to get alerted as you get too close to anything. Also new for 2018 it's carried over from that 202A XLT equipment group is going to be the rear bumper protector with the chrome accent on there. Now it really protects it so when you try to put things inside if they drop sometimes on those bumpers it's going to protect it and it actually just has a nice accent to it uh, as well back here. You're going to see on the bottom is a, in the rear skid plate back here uh, just like the front one so that silver painted under there and you're going to have the chrome tip dual exhaust too so a uh, real nice look to the back of the vehicle. Now this also does have your power lift gate but also it's the hands-free lift gate so you can just give it a kick and it open up and you can just give it a kick in the middle and it doesn't matter if there's going to be a we're going to talk about tow package a little bit later it doesn't matter if there's a tow hitch on it or not you can just uh, go on either side of where that tow hitch would be and it's going to open up. Now when you're looking back here, also another thing to remember, you can adjust this and then press and hold the button uh, and it'll adjust that height too. So also back here, you do have front and rear independent suspension. So uh, because of that, you're going to get a great ride because of that, the four wheels independent of each other. So you're going to have to help with those potholes and such. But because of that, you don't have that solid axle back here. So now you have uh, some storage area underneath that third row seat. Uh, so it's a really nice, has a deep well to put, uh, put some uh, groceries and different items in there, which comes in real handy. Also because of that, these seats can fold flat into the floor. And so normally uh, these actually will have the headrests up. They're actually down right now, but uh, when those headrests are up to be able to do that, first thing you're going to want to do is pull a little loop behind it 
and it's going to lay those headrests down. So that's the first thing you're going to want to make sure you do. This here in the limited standard with your uh, third row power fold seats. Now, uh, what's great about this is uh, there's the nice buttons back here. You can pick left, right, or both. So you can fold them both down at the same time, which is uh, really nice. So we'll go ahead and do that. We'll leave it on both, and then we'll uh, push a button over here that says stow. And then it's just going to power it down for you. So if you have your hands full, it comes in real handy. You just reach over, hit that real quick, and it's going to go ahead and fold those down. And it folds it completely flat to the floor. Uh, so that's a really nice uh, flat load level. So you just get it over the top, and it's going to fold in there, or just put it right in there. And as you can see, it goes uh, completely fills up that cargo area back there. And a lot of people will leave these down until they need them, and then fold them back up. So now I'll just put it in normal mode, and you're going to see they're going to fold back into position uh, perfectly there. Of course, don't forget the headrest. You'll have to manually uh, bring it up uh, when you uh, when they're all the way in position, uh, if if you need to, and you can just let the kids do that. Sometimes they'll just leave them down. Uh, maybe if you don't have the kids back there, then they can just put the headrest up. So that's a uh, really nice. There's also another button you can. Uh, uh, do as well a uh, fold button and if you do that it's going to just take the backrest and it's going to fold it down against the seats. So uh, that might be something if you have something a little bit bigger in there and you just want just need those down or something just to kind of fit it in there you can do that. Uh, so and then also there's uh, you can just uh, put it back in that normal mode again. So uh, that's a really nice way to, can, to be able to control these uh, electronically so you don't have to fiddle with those different straps and such uh, on those manual seat adjustments. Now moving to the interior, this is going to have two different color interiors for you. Uh, one of them is going to have medium light stone interior like you see in this vehicle. So you know, when you look across the, the dash and the top part of the doors are going to be that ebony uh, look to it. And then also down through the console and the center stack as well. And then the lower part of the, the dash as well as the lower part of your doors and your armrests are going to be that medium light stone as well as your seats are going to be that color as well. Now you're going to have uh, also an ebony interior uh, as you can get, uh, ebony black is what they call it, where that takes that, all the tan accent we talked about is going to be black as well, so a completely black interior. And both of those are going to have some really nice uh, trim on those. So you have a satin chrome uh, trim with the rosewood appliques in there too. So it's a real great look on your doors as well as across the dash. And your seats are going to be leather seating surfaces. Uh, perforations in those seats for the driver or the front row as well as the second row and then the driver and front passenger are going to get 10-way power adjustable seats that controls the seat cushion, the, the recline as well as your power lumbar and then you're going to get heated and cooled seats for these two front seats. Back seat, seats three, you have a 60-40 split bench seat uh, which is really nice about that. You're going to have heated seats on those two outside seats. You also have an armrest that comes in the middle backrest uh, and uh, some really nice finish. You also have rear climate back there too and that 40% side also has an adjustment under the seat, a slide adjustment where you can pull that. It is a ma manual adjusted, but you can move that seat forward and back. Also, there's going to be levers on both sides of those two outside seats. They allow you to be able to uh, pull those levers to get access into the back seats back there. That third row seat is a 50-50 split bin seat, seating two back there. Here on the door, you have your power windows, locks, mirror switches, including auto one touch for those front windows. You also do get driver memory for three different drivers, and that's going to control your mirror, your seat, and the power tilt and telescoping steering wheel. So it'll electronically go up and down, forward and back, and adjust it just where you need to. And the driver memory, what's great about it too, is it also is, uh, con uh, controls all those for the easy entry and exit seat, which means when you shut the vehicle off, the seat's going to go back and the steering will up so that you can get in and out of the vehicle a little bit easier. So I think you'll like that. Also, you're going to get leather wrap, heated steering wheel, standard equipment on these. So that'll come in real handy. And the heated uh, adjustment can be taken care of with your remote start. So when you use that remote start, it'll heat the seats as well as the steering wheel. So that's uh, really nice. Also, on the left side of the steering wheel, you're going to get your cruise control. On the right side, you're going to have Bluetooth as well as some audio controls there. You're also going to have two D-pads, one on the left and one on the right. The one on the left is going to control the 4-inch productivity screen there on the left side of your speedometer. And the one on the right is going to control the settings on the right side of that 4-inch uh, screen there for your different sync commands, which we're going to get to in just a little bit here. Also, you don't forget you have your push button start. Dual zone auto climate control for the driver and front passenger have two different temperatures. And don't forget you have that rear climate control. And then for your audio controls, you have a Sony audio sound system with AM, FM, CD player, Sirius satellite, HD radio, some great uh, power or great audio sound system there. 
Also, you're going to have the Sync 3 system. That's that third generation voice enhanced recognition system where you can control your phone, your audio, your climate, and the navigation. This comes standard with navigation with the pinch to zoom, the serious traffic and travel length as well. So great uh, little uh, system. And I do have a video under the how-to videos on our YouTube channel exactly how that Sync 3 system works. Uh, how do you control, control everything? You can watch that video as well. And then that front and backup camera will come in view on that full 8 inch screen. Uh, at, so I think you really like that. And don't forget that split view for that front camera. Uh, you can easily adjust it by just pressing the camera button right below the screen there. Uh, so I think you'll like that. And everything just works so well on that system too. Up here in the mirror you have auto dimming rear view mirror. Uh, also you do have garage door openers for three different garage doors up here on the visors. You can control anything with transmitters, so gates, garage doors, and those kind of things there. And, and let's talk about the compartments in here. You do have one if right here, you, a lot of people don't realize, you just press that sync button and it's going to open that door up. And inside you have a smart USB port in here as well as it does have a power point in there too. So that way you control uh, two different kinds of uh, power adjustments for your cell phones. Uh, and then you can also, it's big enough down here, you can put a cell phone or wallet or whatever you might need down in there. And there's even a spot for the cord to come through over here for the passenger. And then also in this console, you can lift it up. You're going to see a coin tray. You can put coins in there or different smaller things. Uh, you can also take that out. It's removable. And then it's, it makes it a little bit easier to get into the compartment. Also, you're going to see a, another uh, USB port in here that you can plug in those smartphones that have the USB plug-ins. And there's a, you can see there's a slot for cords on the left and the right of uh, where that opens up. So I think you'll really appreciate that. And back behind this console, talking about connectivity, there's also a 110 outlet you can plug in. So, you know, smartphones with an outlet, if you can, as well as two smart USB ports are back there, too, uh, in the back of that console. So everyone in, the, in there should be able to power up their devices and keep them going on that long trip. Uh, so you're going to see ambient lighting. Ambient lighting is going to light up the cup holders as well as your footwells and your door compartments and door handles. So you can be able to see those when you have your headlights or your lights turned on. You can change the colors on those as well uh, through your Microsoft Sync 3 system there. So I think you really appreciate that. So, And now everything we've talked about so far is going to be standard on all your limiteds. So now let's talk about some different equipment groups and optional packages. Let's talk about the 301A equipment group. And this equipment group includes several features and even a package uh, within that the equipment group. And it's just easy for Ford to be able to just, uh, when they're building vehicles at the plant, to be able to just include uh, all these features within that equipment group. So when you want uh, to order that equipment group, it's going to come with all these. Uh, so uh, one of the packages that's included within this equipment group is new for 2018, and it's the Ford Safe and Smart Package. And this package is also going to be a, an optional package that we're going to talk about uh, by itself here in just a little bit. But this is include five features within this package. Uh, one of those is going to be your adaptive cruise control. Uh, what's uh, great about that is uh, when you have that cruise set, you're coming up behind somebody, it's going to slow you down to go their speed until you pass them or they speed back up and then you're going to speed back up. So you're going to don't have to use your brakes so much. Also with this uh, uh, cruise control, you're also going to get the, um, the front collision warning with brake support. So if you're coming up behind somebody, it's going to warn you uh, that they're stopped and that you're not slowing down. And that's, this would be uh, come in handy when you don't have that cruise control on. Uh, also, it's going to help initiate that brake support too. Also, as part of this package, you're going to get the lane keeping system. And that's going to include your lane keep assist, your lane keep alert, and driver alert. And so not only will it alert you as you're trying to leave your lane or you know, vibrate the steering wheel for the driver, it'll also help assist you and keep you within that lane. So I love that system and I love how it's a little bit more advanced than some of the other automakers. So I think you will really like that. Also the Bliss system, Bliss with cross traffic alert. So the Bliss is blind spot information system. So if there's someone in your blind spot, it's gonna put a light in the corner of that mirror and let you know it's not safe to go in that lane at that time. Also, as you're backing up, if someone's going to cross your path behind you, that's going to put a light in the corner of the mirror from the side they're coming from. Also puts a message on the dash telling the same thing and which direction they're coming from in a series of tones and it's not safe to back up. So I love this system. I think it's a, it should be on, standard on every vehicle, in my opinion. Uh, just a, a real lifesaver, especially when you're backing up in those parking lots and such when people are you know, speeding down those uh, different streets and such. Uh, it'll alert you and let you know that. Now, it will change the face of the mirror, too. So you're going to have a flat mirror, so you won't have that integrated blind spot mirror, that angled mirror anymore, because it'll have that a flat mirror there with the 
a sensor in it there for you. Also, you're going to get the rain sensing wipers as part of this package. And uh, when you have it in that setting, it's going to go ahead and turn those wipers on and, and wipe them. So if it's uh, when it gets to rain a little harder, it'll wipe a little faster. And what's great about that is when that rain keeps changing on you, you don't have to keep adjusting your intermittent. It's going to take care of it for you. Also, the auto high beams is part of the safe and smart package. The auto high beams work a lot like your automatic headlights. They're going to come on, those high beams will come on when there's nobody uh, approaching you and you're not in the city. And then if you are in the city or there's some, some lights approaching, it'll automatically dim that. Now, the rain sensing wipers and the auto high beams are both can be turned on and off by clicking the boxes within your productivity screen. So if those are two features you don't like, you want to control them yourself, uh, you don't trust the system or whatever it might be, you can go ahead and turn those on and off through that system as well. So that's a really nice having that flexibility. There are three other features that are including with this equipment group on top of that safe and smart package. One of those is going to be your outbound second row uh, rear inflatable seat belts. And those are going to inflate for those collisions, those front collisions, the side collisions. It's going to deploy those to help protect those occupants and the, those outside seats back there. So uh, that's uh, really nice. It's included with, uh, within this uh, package as well. Also, it does have your enhanced active park assist, which is the, the newest version of the park assist. It doesn't just parallel park the vehicle, but also will reverse perpendicular park it and help with park out. So it controls all the steering while you take care of the gas and the brake. And I do have a video, as you can see, on our YouTube channel under the how-to videos, an outside as well as an inside perspective of how the system works. And uh, so check that video out when you get a chance. Uh, I'll try to link it down below, but if I forget to do that, don't. It is in our how to videos on our YouTube channel. You can check it out there. Uh, also, part of this package is the multi contoured seats. One of the favorite features on this, uh, people really love this. Uh, it has more lumbar settings for you. Also, it has an active motion. So you can also have that massaging seat feature, and that's going to be for the, the driver and front passenger to go along with their heated, cooled seats and their power adjustment. So I think you'll really love that. And the enhanced active park assist and the multi-contoured seats are only available within this equipment group. Let's talk about some uh, two packages available on either the 300 or 301A equipment group, and that's your different tow packages. Uh, so there are two different tow packages for the Explorer. If you have that 2.3 liter EcoBoost engine, you have the Class 2 trailer tow package, uh, and that's uh, going to require that engine for you. It's going to have your uh, smaller hitch receiver, that Class 2 re hitch receiver there, uh, and uh, it goes along with that because uh, of the, the engine and what it can handle in the way of towing. And then you also have your Class 3 trailer tow package, which requires you to have that 3.5 V6 engine because it has a little bit tow more towing capabilities, and it's going to have your Class 3 receiver hitch to go along with it. So two different packages that are available for your Explorer depends on what engine you have there. Let's talk about another package we already mentioned earlier, and that's that Ford Safe and Smart package. Now, this is available on your 300A equipment group, uh, and it includes those five features we talked about, that uh, adaptive cruise control with front collision and brake support, the lane keeping system with the lane keeping alert, as well as the driver alert and the, driver and the lane keeping assist. Also, it's going to include the Bliss with cross-traffic alert, that blind spot monitoring system the auto high beams, and the rain sensing wipers. So again, it includes all those different features within this package and is again optional on that 300A equipment group. Now let's talk about standalone options. And what we mean by standalone options is means any of these options can be ordered by themselves on the 300 or the 301A equipment group. There will be one feature that's only available on your 301A and we'll get to that at the very end of these. Uh, so the, the wheel here is the optional wheel. We uh, talk, we've seen it in the vehicle throughout the video. 20 inch polished aluminum wheel. So it is that kind of that chrome looking wheel. So if you like that, it also does have the split spoke there designed too. So a little bit different wheel. So you have those two different uh, wheel options for you. This wheel will be an upgrade uh, and additional cost for you. Also, you're going to get the running boards on the side. Those are platform running boards. Makes it a little bit easier for the smaller kids to get in and out of the vehicle. And uh, they're going to go on the side of the vehicle uh, and it makes it a little bit easier, uh, again, for the smaller kids there. Also, different seating configuration for you. It does come standard with the 60-40 split bench seat, uh, but you can get the rear bucket seats, that second row bucket seats. Uh, it's going to allow you to be able to have that pass through through the middle. Also, it's going to have the power assist fold feature. So it's a button on the side. You just press it, and it's going to go ahead and power the backrest down and then the seat cushion up uh, towards the uh, back of the front seat so the kids can get in and out of the vehicle. And that's going to come in real handy for those smaller kids uh, to be able to get in and out of the vehicle uh, without having to figure out those little levers there. 
Also, um, when you go to this seating configuration, that left seat, one behind the driver's seat, is going to have the, uh, the lever underneath it to be able to slide it forward and back as well, just like the other side did on the 6040 seat. Also, you can get the second row console. Uh, so with that, it's going to go right in that middle where that 20% that side would be in that open area there. And that console is going to get two cup holders in the front part of it with a little uh, tray there. Also, the armrest can then flip up from the back. It's got a lever back there and it kind of hinges forward and gives you a little tray-like system there or almost a dual tray system. The one in the back can actually come out. Uh, it just kind of sits in there so you can have storage underneath there as well. So a really nice little console that they've done. A lot of them open from the front and I like this and kind of opens up kind of gives you kind of a tray uh, system for kids if they have you know maybe food or something like that uh, it gives them that little system there for you and I think you'll I think you really like that also those rear inflatable seat belts we talked about earlier as part of the 31A equipment group it is going to be a standalone option in the 300A equipment group it protects those two outside uh, second row seat uh, occupants there for uh, those side and front collisions deploying the airbag on those seat belts also, as a standalone option, you can get the dual headrest DVD player. Uh, so that's going to come in real handy for those long trips. They will play two different um, DVDs as well as gaming systems on those. They'll come with headphones as well. And so they don't need to fight over the different video they want to watch. Just put in two different ones and they can watch whichever one they want. So that comes in real handy. Also, the dual panel moonroof, or the twin panel moonroof one. I really like that. It has a power sunshade that opens up, really opens the inside up, makes it feel so much more roomier, and as well as it's going to have the power glass, so the moonroof will open up as well, letting some of that fresh air into the vehicle as well. So those are some great standalone options that are available. Almost all those are available on either the 300 or 301A equipment group. Now let's talk about some accessories you can put on the vehicle. Now these can be ordered on when you order your vehicle and they'll be shipped to the dealer ahead of time and the dealer will install them or put them in or you can even order them through your parts department after you get your vehicle and have uh, some of them put on if it needs to be put on from the dealer there. So it's real nice and easy to do. So uh, one of those is going to be your splash guards. The splash guards are going to go on the vehicle uh, behind those wheel wells uh, and that just protects for the rock chips and such like that. Those rocks to get kicked up on those dirt roads and things like that. So uh, some people would, would like those put on. Also in those rainy muddy days as well, uh, it'll help protect uh, keeping all that mud stuff getting underneath the vehicle or on those doors and such. Also you can get the crossbars on these. So you do have the nice chrome roof rack rails, but you can also get the crossbars that go across. Uh, that helps, comes in real handy. You can put luggage up there that way and tie it down. Uh, that way you don't have to take away some of your cargo area in the third row seat back there uh, for those long trips. So I think you'll really appreciate that as well. Also, uh, standard equipment is the carpeted mats. I didn't mention it. It's going to be carpeted mats for the first as well as the second row foot wells. Um, but you can get the optional all-weather mats as well. And they're going to go in the same uh, foot wells for the first and second row as well, protecting it from mud and, and rainy weather, snow, and that kind of thing uh, in the vehicle. You can also get a rear cargo mat, and it's going to be the same thing as all-weather mat. It's going to be all-weather. Uh, it, it would normally go on top of the third row seat, so you'd fold the third row seat flat into the floor, and then you'd put that cargo area back there. And that comes in handy for people that carry a lot of things uh, and normally have that third row seat down. Uh, that's going to come in real handy. You can also get an interior cargo cover as well uh, that's going to come over. Again, you would have that third row seat down normally, and then that cover would go across the back so people can't see the different items you might have back there. Again, this might be for uh, maybe a sales rep or somebody that carries a lot of things in the back cargo area that are expensive or important to them, and they don't want people to see what they have back there. Uh, this cargo cover would come in real handy. So that's all your standard as well as optional equipment for the limited trim of the 2018 Ford Explorer. Now your factory warranty is a three-year, 36,000-mile bumper-to-bumper warranty. Also, you get a five-year, 60,000-mile powertrain warranty and roadside assistance. So pretty typical on all the Ford lineup and all your Explorers uh, for those different warranties. Now also, uh, don't forget, you can go to our website, lawnmacarthur.com. There in each one of our vehicles, you can check for availability, schedule a test drive. You can see pictures on our inventory, as well as the original window sticker on each one of our in-stock vehicles and vehicles that are in transit are on the way here. And on the top part of those window stickers, you're going to see the standard equipment and then the different optional equipment and equipment groups, if it has it, they're right below that in the bottom part of that in the left side. So, uh, so it comes in real handy uh, being able to see what, how it's equipped and everything and if that vehicle is going to work for you. So I encourage you to go to our website. I mentioned free shipping earlier. Uh, let me tell you a little bit about that. Uh, if you want to get something from us, maybe even order something from us, we'll do free shipping for you. Uh, and that's a great 
great way to work with a great dealership that has, is very knowledgeable. And as you can tell from this video, we know our stuff when it comes to Explorers. And so if you want to get something from us, whether you want to order it a certain way or you want something from in stock, we'll do free shipping for you uh, with financing. So as long as you finance the vehicle with us, uh, we can uh, pay for that free shipping for you and get it right to your door. So it makes it real nice and easy because you can do all the paperwork by FedEx and ship it right to your door. So you don't even have to leave. You don't have to go to the dealership. A lot of people would just love that uh, aspect and you can do that here at Law MacArthur. I think you'll really appreciate that. Now do check out our website. Even with the free shipping, I will do uh, special pricing. We do internet pricing, so it's not just MSRP minus rebates. It actually is a very competitive price because we do want to, we know we're, uh, you're shopping all over the country for your vehicle and so you're going to see our best price on there as well uh, and that free shipping is going to be on top of that. So I think you'll really appreciate it and find that we're real easy to work with. So uh, do check that out. If you have any questions or you want to give us a call or send us a text message, you can call 785-378-5031. Uh, we have coordinators that are ready to help you and can answer any questions you might have. Uh, and they work uh, real closely with me. So if there's anything they can't answer, uh, they, they'll just get with me. Also, if you're uh, watching this on YouTube, you can uh, click on the, des the description down below or the comments down below if you have any questions. I will respond to those. I'm really good about that. Uh, and so any questions down below, I will respond and answer your questions. So definitely do that. Also, I'm sure you probably like this video, so give it a thumbs up. That really helps me out and lets people know that it's a good uh, video to watch. Uh, also, uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe to our channel. I think you're going to find it very uh, valuable for you. Uh, we do videos like you're seeing in this video here, plus we have some Lincoln product videos and some other very useful how-to videos as well uh, that I think you'll really appreciate. We do about, uh, we probably post about three or four videos a week, so uh, you're not going to get uh, bombarded with too much, so hit that subscribe button. If you want to get notified, also hit that notification bell. You will get notified when we have a new video uploaded. And we are going through this Explorer lineup. Uh, so there's a base model as well as an XLT. You can get those links down in the description. As well as we're going to do a Sport and a Platinum. So if you're looking for those videos, stay tuned. Hit that notification bell and you'll get notified when those videos are ready because I am doing these in succession. So there will be the next videos up. So uh, do check that out. Uh, and if you're watching this and have already done those videos, uh, then they'll be linked down below as as well. So I hope you really liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up again. And until the next video, have a great day.